All right, Ashley, we're back with our recap from our picks last week. And you know what? This is why we do this segment. Is it? Yes, because it's about <laughs> accountability. We asked our producers to put this in because it's nice talking about the 8 and O's, talking about the all NBA that yeah. you are in all your picks. But when we lose, we have to take accountability yeah. for it. And so we're going to start off with the NBA. You called the Toronto Raptors to cover. I thought that was a safe bet. Right. The Raptors are synonymous with losing game ones, yeah. and so I didn't really want to put all my eggs in that basket, but <laughs> I did think that the game would be closer than it was. Yeah. Scotty Barnes goes down. He gets stepped on by Joel Embiid. The Raptors are fighting for their lives. Things look really tough. It's an uphill battle that they have in front of them. Pascal Siakam needs to be stupendous. Yep. Fred Van Vliet needs to show some wizardry. Gary Trent Jr. needs to get better. OG Ananobi needs to play defense like his life depends on it because their playoff life yeah. does. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> it wasn't a great feeling, but it happens. Yeah, but you know what? When we talk about something you talked about last week, James Harden, I mean, overshadowed in his game is his ability to dish the ball. Toronto right. was trying to play him tight, and man, if he wasn't assisting, everybody on the court. James Harden was asked to convert his game from a lead scorer into someone who does score but can also help his teammates be better as well, and so he's proficient in that when he wants to. Yeah. Um, my, my picks were not proficient this week going into our second matchup, Warriors and Nuggets. Yeah, but listen, I mean, Denver had dominated the season series, and yeah. yes, Steph comes back, and Draymond was playing all NBA defense on one of the best players in the league. I guess I underestimated their prowess for just turning it on. It's yeah. been a while since yeah. we've seen the Warriors I guess dominate in this sense because Nikola Jokic is so fantastic and Draymond Green is up in his kitchen <laughs> really impeding anything that he's trying to do even on the floor when he's cutting or cutting, coming off a screen and roll. Draymond is there and so the Splash Brothers look really good. The Warriors look great. Jordan Poole looks fantastic. Yeah. Right. I thought the Nuggets were going to lose this series but come out and maybe like jump scare the Warriors yep. in game one. Didn't happen. That's too bad. But guess what? NBA playoff basketball is different, different. than the regular mm -hmm. season. And when you have guys like Steph, Clay, and Draymond been there, done it, won championships, it's almost like it comes back to them. That, Muscle that, memory. That killer mentality yeah. it comes right back. Now, what didn't come back is the killer <laughs> mentality on my picks. I went 8-0 in the previous weeks, and this one, you know, you had been so good in your NBA picks, I thought that I had to get some good money line advantages. You were feeling the pressure. I was feeling the pressure. pressure. So I thought the pressure would be solved by Pittsburgh going into Boston right. because Boston, they'd been winning by very tight margins, and Pittsburgh, conversely, had been just lighting the lamp. But how did Boston win? 2-1. Tight margin. They played good defensive game. The other game I thought was Vegas Golden Knights coming off a thrashing of the Calgary Flames, 6-1. Mm. Arguably one of the best teams in the league. Going into Alberta again to face the Oilers. But it's almost like every time you're counting out the Oilers, ever since their coaching change, they prove you wrong, which is really good, and I'm hoping for their fan base. The that Oilers this comes. are like the guy that you broke up with, but like just <laughs> checks in every three months to make sure that like you're not not you mean interested. Me in college? Yeah, you basically. Me in college? Yeah, a thousand percent. But stop to, doing that. But to transition <laughs> that over into the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's kind of the same thing right now, where we're just praying for their fan base yeah. to have that round one win that they need. They need it desperately. Okay, uh, but you got one of I your did. picks right, so yeah. I'm happy for you. The Colorado Avalanche versus the Carolina Hurricanes, two of the top five teams in the league. But mm -hmm. what can you? say about Colorado that hasn't been said about the best team in the league. Nothing. They are <laughs> flat out scary when it comes to playoffs and anybody who faces them, it's going to be a tough time getting out of the West. Anybody who faces us this week, just act like you didn't see our picks. Act like you didn't see it. Just These ones head though? Head down and keep it moving. We're coming back. Next week Friday, Brad C. Smith, I'm at Smartash. Find us on Twitter.